So Ashling Daly, thanks very much for taking time out to talk to Balls that I eat today. We've just had an advanced screening of the first episode of season 22 of The Ultimate Fighter. Are you excited for the new season? I'm definitely excited for the new season. Uh, I had a feeling with Connor involved that there would be some comedy gold the whole time, but uh, honestly, the, the premiere just impressed me. Like the fights were amazing. The, the standard of fights at the end of the house was definitely, you know, the guys were really throwing down. They're, they weren't leaving anything to, to chance. You know, sometimes you see guys coast and they look like they don't want to be there, but. Man, that team Europe is looking is yeah, looking pretty serious. Definitely impressive. Watching just watching it there, did it bring back any any vivid memories from your time on, on the experience? Because of course you've gone through the Ultimate Fighter as well. Unfortunately, it did. Uh, I was getting a bit of uh, PTSD sitting there. I was like, huh, and, you know, kind of. I made that walk and whatever. But uh, I, I'm definitely glad to to not have had to go through that again. So uh, watching the guys and what they had to go through, I can definitely relate to it. But. Uh, Happy to be past that stage in my career, thankfully. Are you still in touch with anyone that you, that you met in the show? or you, Did you take any friends away from it? I, I still talk to uh, Alex, would pretty, pretty much be the one that I would speak to the most of. Uh, I might have the odd interaction with Randa and Jojo. We all seem to kind of get on the best sure. in the house. The international dream team, as we were yeah, calling yeah. ourselves. But uh, I was chatting to Alex even after a fight there at the weekend I against Paige. I saw you Paige. tweeted her there, yeah. Yeah, um, it, she, she's kind of unlucky in, in that. She's an undersized straw weight, you know what mm. I mean? She should be an Adam weight. She has competed at Adam weight, but the UFC don't have that weight class. And Alex is only competing MMA not that long at this stage, but she's obviously found MMA later in life, which is a little bit difficult yeah. to get into. But I really have a lot of time for Alex. She's a lovely person. And now, what I've always wondered is, you, you, you lived it, you experienced it there. How different was the actual experience to what we saw on the TV show? Because they've got to condense a lot of, like a full day or a full week then into an hour. And you know, TV, they're going to look for, they're going to look for drama. They're going to over exaggerate things. How different was it, and how difficult was that to, to get used to? In my experience of it, it was fairly accurate, especially for our season. There was all that bitchiness. Okay. There was all that pettiness. There was all that arguing. This kind of tit for tat rubbish going on with the the coaching and oh well, I'm not training with you because I might have to fight you at the end of the bracket. It was all very accurate. I, I just think you get you know, 16 alpha females together in a, a building like that, there's just gonna be, be all sorts of craziness breaking out. And a lot of the girls were just like, not not very nice people to, to begin with. So yeah, a lot of it was accurate, you know what I mean? They didn't have to make anything entertaining. From my personal point of view, I, I probably would have preferred that they, they took a slightly different angle on it rather than focusing in on the bitchiness. But yeah. you know, th there was some fun moments, especially between myself and the girls who did get on well. There was a lot of kind of comedy stuff that they didn't really focus on. Oh, right, but okay. You know what can you do? What what was shown was was accurate. That was it was it was a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I've always wondered. This is just a personal question of the ultimate fighter. What's the story with food? Do they just give you whatever you want? They'll go in a big shop every week and they and they bring it into the house. I know it's a bit of a weird question. Yeah, well, actually, this is everybody asks me this question. Oh, yeah, so okay. basically, how it works is you have like a shopping list section with your name on it. So every okay. evening you write down what you want in the shopping list, and the shopping is done in the middle of the night. Okay. So you wake up the next morning and whatever food you've stuck. ordered, yeah, it's pretty much there. And then some things are kind of more specialised, so they might have to go to a particular store that doesn't open during the night. Okay. And then you might be waiting a day or two on that, but that's usually that. But you can order whatever you want. Unfortunately for me, it was all just like chicken and green leaves. That, that was my next <laughs> question. When you're in your you're in your fight camp now, so what's your what's your fate? What's your meal? What's your go-to meal when you're when you're training when you're watching? Um, usually for me, it's kind of based off. Um, more, mostly protein, fats uh, and green vegetables and then with a little bit of complex carbohydrates in on top of it. So for me, I, I'm, I'm pretty big for, for a straw weight. So I, I've pretty much been dieting now since 16 weeks out from the, right. the fight. So, you know, it, it's hard work for me. But I know I, I feel I feel good now. You know, uh, it, I sometimes feel if I start a little bit further out, then it's uh, easier than when it comes sure. down to the wire. So, yeah, so there was lots of lovely treats here today that I didn't <laughs> get to avail of. But, uh, I have my, my lovely meal sponsor for your kitchen. They look after my nutrition for oh, me now. So. And you're looking for, obviously, UFC Dublin is going to be another great event. The last time we did an event in Dublin was a historic night in Irish sport. Are you just absolutely pumped to get to fight with some of the Irish fans again? I'm super excited for, you know, where people are saying, oh, you know, annoyed with media stuff to do and whatever. And I'm like, I'm just, it's a privilege to me to be here. You know, the Ultimate Fighter, we watched that today. I was in that house yeah. this time last year when Dublin was happening, you know. Yeah. I really feel like I missed out big True. time. I was actually devastated to, to not be part of that. So for me, like I said, I feel privileged to be on the card and I, I'm just looking forward to impressing the Irish fans. I think a lot of the guys don't know me. You know, they, they're UFC fans or Conor McGregor fans and they might know Paddy and Cotland, sure. these guys, but they don't really know what I'm about. And uh, I want to make a statement in Dublin, definitely. Well, I certainly hope you do make that statement. 
wish you all the best of luck. Thanks for talking to Balls at IE. And keep, stay tuned to Balls at IE for more on the Ultimate Fighter. We bring it. Best of luck. Thanks, Thanks very much.